हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनलॉक मैथ्स टूडे वी हैव टू डिस्कस साइक्लिक परमोटेशन सो लेट्स कंसिडर इफ वी हैव परमोटेशन दिस अल्फा दिस परमोटेशन बिलोंग्स टू सेट एस थ्री राइट नाउ यस वी नो दैट दिस सेकेंड रो एलिमेंट डिनोट्स द इमेजेस ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट रो एलिमेंट राइट so here this one maps to 2 2 maps to 3 and 3 maps to 1 right we can represent this is as here this one maps to 2 2 two maps to 3 and again this 3 maps to 1 right so we got this one cycle here this is we can write this is as a one maps to 2 2 maps to 3 right and again this 3 maps to 1 so this is we have write down this alpha in cyclic notation similarly next consider we have one permutation this is if we have this permutation of this set s6 if we have this is 1 maps to 1 and 6 maps to 6 here this is Yes, here we have one maps to one. That means we can represent this is as this one maps to one, right? And here for this element, we can check that this two maps to three, three maps to four. Here we can write this is as two maps to three, three maps to four, four maps to five, and again this five maps to two. So we got here one cycle, right? Of this. four elements and this next year six maps to six right so this is we can write this is cycle having only one element this is here cycle having this is how many elements here we have this is two maps to three three maps to four four maps to five and again this five maps to two so this is cycle having four element and this is cycle having only single element right so we have to say that this is length of this cycle is 1 and this is length of this cycle is here 4 and this length of this cycle is here 1 right so we have represent this is beta in cyclic form right now in general we can say that if we have this is permutation alpha if we have this permutation alpha of this set sn over element n right now here for this permutation alpha we can check that this first element this first r elements yes this is a1 maps to a2 a2 maps to a3 and so on up to ar maps to this first element a1 so this is r element so we have this is cycle of r length right cycle of r element so we can write this is as a a1 maps to a2 A two maps to A three, A three maps to A four, up to here element A R. An image of this A R is here this first element A one, right? And for this, here we have this is A R plus one. This element maps to this element. So here we have next cycle of having only one element up to this is A n maps to A n, right? So this is we have. write down this alpha in cyclic notation right and here we have to note down that when we have cycle having only one element we don't have to write it that means here we have alpha this is a1 a2 a3 a4 up to this is ar right and we don't have to write this cycle here so it is understood that when we have permutation over n this represent cycle having length r and remaining n minus r elements 
this element maps to itself right so we can define this is as a cyclic permutation Here we have defined cyclic permutation. For this, we have considered this permutation of set S n. Yes, here we have taken this images of first R elements are the elements which follows it. So this is cycle having length R, right? And this next n minus R maps to itself, right? That means these are cycle having length one. So here we have to note down. Yes, here we have to remember these points. Cycle having length one represents identity permutation. and if any element is missing in cyclic notation we have to say that that element missing element maps to itself right and cycle does not change by changing the place of its element in cyclic order right that means when we have this permutation alpha having cycle 1 2 3 so we can write this is as a yes we can write down this as a 2 3 1 right that means 2 maps to 3 3 maps to 1 and 1 maps to 2 right similarly we can say that this is again we can write this is as a this is 3 maps to 1 1 maps to 2 and 2 maps to 3 right that means we can write this alpha the cyclic permutation in this way also right and same here for this permutation beta we have this cyclic representation right this is we have represent this is in a cyclic form now here we have this is cycle having length 1 right that means we have to omit this element so we can write this is beta as a cycle having element 2 3 4 5 you right we have this cyclic notation for this permutation beta which is defined over set s6 right that means here we have four elements and remaining two elements are missing here so missing element this 1 and 6 and that represents identity permutation that means that elements maps to itself right so this is cyclic notation for this permutation beta right now next we have to note down that every permutation of a finite set can be written in cyclic notation right that means when we have given any permutation we can write down this is in a product of disjoint cycle so let's consider if we have one permutation this is if we have this permutation of s phi u so here in first row here we have this element 1 2 3 4 5 and in second row if we have this is yes now we can write this alpha in cyclic form here yes first element here 1 so here 1 maps to 2 right and 2 maps to 1 so this is we have one cycle having length 2 next year 3 maps to 3 that means this is identity permutation and next year 4 maps to 5 u and 5 u maps to 4 right so we have to omit this cycle having one element so we can write this is as a cycle having element 1 2 and next is year 4 5 u right so we have write down this permutation as a product of 
two disjoint cycle right similarly we can write down this is as also here right we have replaced this element in cyclic order right so this is alpha in cyclic notation for this set s5 right again we can take one simple example here if we have permutation beta for this set s7 now we have to write down this beta in cyclic notation so here we have to check that one maps to three right so we will write here one maps to three three maps to five u five u maps to seven seven maps to one right that means this last element maps to this first element one so this cycle get complete here and next for this permutation remaining list element is here two we have to consider we have to start cycle with list element so here we have taken two here now two maps to four then four maps to six six maps to two that means this cycle get complete here right now check that how many elements here we have these are the seven elements so this permutation belongs to this is s7 right so in this way we have seen cyclic permutation and we have to remember this points here right so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching